Raise your hand if you've ever had trouble finding jeans that can both fit hips, thighs, and still not gape at your waist. I know it's not just me. Only recently have jeans brands started to come out with a curvy line. Most of them are called curvy, some of them are called other things, but basically that is just the jean brand's way of saying that they have more room for hips, thighs, butt, and a more tapered waist so that for those of us with curvier builds, athletic builds, anyone who carries more of their weight in their lower body and not as much of the waist region so we can have an option that fits us without having to get altered. This is actually the second jean video I've made about jeans for small waists and larger hips. If you want to see part one of the curvy jean video, I will leave it in the description down below, but that video covers Abercrombie Curve Love, Madewell Curvy, and a couple other brands. But today we have some other brands that I am very excited about, including a brand that has a 15 inch difference between the waist measurement and the hips measurement. For reference, normal jeans only have a 10 inch difference, so for my hourglass lady, I'm hoping these will solve all our problems. If you're new here, my name is Catherine. I do a lot of activewear reviews, but occasionally I delve into other types of reviews and I like to make my reviews very methodical, systematic. I wanna make sure we cover all the boxes. So we have a bunch of different metrics that we're going to be using to review these items today. The jean brands that we'll be trying today are Everlane Curvy, Fit Jeans, which was highly requested, not necessarily a curvy line, but they're just jeans that are meant to fit athletic body types. The Levi's rib cage jeans, again, not necessarily advertised as curvy, but I've gotten a lot of requests from you guys to review the rib cage jeans. Apparently they're supposed to be better for a curvy or athletic build. And then the Hollister curvy fit, those are a more affordable option. So we have both high-end, mid-range, and affordable today. And we'll see if any of these beat my current favorite. I still am a diehard Abercrombie Curve Love. Honestly, even with my last video, nothing beats Abercrombie Curve Love for me. So we'll see if anything today takes first place. As for all of the metrics we will be discussing for each pair of jeans today, first we'll decide if they are true to the size guide. So just like last video, I will take all updated measurements. My sizing tends to not change too much throughout the years, but might as well see what it is today. I'll also be be listing the size range at the end of each video. Some of these definitely have better sizing than others. I'll list the inseam if they come in multiple lengths. I am a tall girly, I'm five foot nine, so I tend to go for a tall length in jeans when they offer it. We'll also be listing the brand's definition of curvy. Everyone kind of has their own definition, so we'll list each one. The fabric composition, if there's any stretch, if it's truly curvy friendly, because some of these say curvy friendly, and then they still gape in the waist. How it fits down the leg and just any other thoughts. So make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already and let's get started with Everlane curvy jeans. I also will just put a little disclaimer that I am not calling myself a curvy body type. For some reason people like to gatekeep certain body types. I would list myself as more of an athletic build. I don't carry very much weight in my waist so I always have a smaller waist measurement but I do carry more of my weight in my thighs, in my glutes, but I don't necessarily have like the biggest hips. But because of where I carry my weight, I have never been able to fit into regular jeans without having to size up two, three sizes just to get it over my legs and hips. And then we end up with a giant gaping waist. So I basically only wear curvy style jeans now. So that being said, let's start off with Everlane Curvy. So Everlane is the brand I was talking about that has a 15 inch difference between the waist measurement and the hips measurement. For reference, most other curvy brands are around 12 to 13 inches. So 15 is definitely the largest difference I've seen. If so, if you are someone who just has a dramatic hourglass shape, I feel like these are gonna be the ones. Almost every jean had two different inseam options and the size chart suggested one size up from your measured waist. So I didn't necessarily know whether to trust that or not. Sometimes I just wonder why you'd have a size chart if you were then going to tell people to size up. So my waist is about 26 inches. So that would put me at a 27. I ordered a 26 and a 27 though, because I found with a lot of the jeans in the last curvy jean video. I tended to prefer a size down just so it's nice and snug on the waist because jeans do kind of stretch out. So these are the Everlane, the curvy 90s cheeky jean. This is the size 27. So this is where the size chart put me at. These are $110. So they're definitely a pricier jean. The size range is 23 to 33 and it does have multiple lengths. They had a 26.5 inch and a 28.5 inch. I got the longer one. Everlane's definition of curvy is we adjusted the hip to waist ratio of our signature jeans to eliminate the waist gap and create a form flattering fit throughout the hip and thigh because denim should just fit. And it also says that they are designed for hourglass shapes. It's a 15 inch difference between the hip and the waist, which is amazing. And it's made of a rigid 100% organic cotton. I used to be just absolutely terrified of trying jeans that were 100% cotton with zero stretch, but 
that when jeans are actually made to fit people with more space in the thighs and the hips, it's actually not that bad to not have stretch because it doesn't need the stretch if it already has enough room for your hips and thighs. So these are a light wash. That is generally what I prefer. Looks like a somewhat straight leg, kind of like mom style ankle jean. The denim definitely feels nice quality. We have a little Everlane kind of leather sewn in thing on the back right. Some pockets with no detail on them. And let's see how these fit. Okay, so here they are. First of all, one thing I didn't notice was it was like a total button up kind of jean. I prefer a zip just because I think it's easier. And I think I was right to get a 27 and a 26 because the 27, I have a ton of room in the like crotch area here and I do get some waistband gaping still. So I have a feeling the size chart is not going to be totally correct because I know that they're not like necessarily like a slim fit jean, but like this is just too much fabric. So we'll see if the 26 fits better. Otherwise these are 100% cotton jeans. So definitely a more rigid jean. They don't feel uncomfortable. They still have like a soft denim feel. These are the cheeky jeans. So the pockets are nicely placed. They definitely are towards the middle to top of the glute. So makes them you know a little bit more lifted a little bit more of like a rounder look which i prefer as well so i always like to put on shoes for these jean reviews just so we can see so this is the longest length that they had and it's definitely still an ankle jean for me so i don't necessarily think that these are the most um tall girl friendly jeans they also have no stretch it definitely feels some tightness when i bend down like this so hopefully the next ones have a teeny bit more stretch these are definitely skimming the calves a little bit i don't think it's too restricting on the calves i do also have larger calves but i would say that it's fine if you do carry more weight in your calves as well but they're definitely not like a wide leg i'd say they're like straight to tapered at the bottom so i'd love to see them a little bit longer and let's try on the next ones just because I have a feeling their size chart is just not quite correct. All right, I got two pairs of Everlane jeans because I wanted to get a 27 and a 26. So this next pair is a 26. These are Everlane the curvy way high jeans. These are $118. So with the title way high, I'm assuming that these are a high rise and I love a high rise. I have a long torso. So I just like things to kind of hit at the smallest point of my waist. So I tend to need a high rise for that. The curvy definition is the same. These ones are also a 98% cotton, 2% elastane. So I would expect a little bit of stretch in these. These are also a more medium wash. It's not my favorite type of wash, but you know, it's there. It also is that classic kind of medium wash with the orange stitching. I just feel like that's kind of like a classic jean thing. It's not a super bright orangey brown. It's more subtle, but that's what it is. This one is a 29.5 inch inseam, but also comes in 27.5. I did get the 26 in these. I feel like these are gonna be better. Again, the jean quality feels really good, even though there is some elastane in there. Sometimes when there's too much elastane, it can feel a little like thinner and cheaper, but these are still feeling nice and thick and good. Looks like a high rise and kind of a more straight leg. Let's try them on. Okay, so these are better. These ones are super high rise, which personally, it's perfect for me. It's just a little bit above the belly button. So I like that. Um, I can definitely feel that these have just a teeny bit of stretch. So I feel like for jeans, that's all you need. Just a little bit of give. They don't need to be like incredibly stretchy, especially if you're not going with like a skinny leg. I will say though, I just hate when a brand doesn't follow their own size chart because this is actually a size down from what they put me out with the size chart. And I still actually get waistband gaping. So I would actually size down to a 25. Yeah, I actually think I would be a size 25 and my waist measures 26 inches. So do with that what you will. I would definitely at least go with your waist size or consider a size down. But overall, I would definitely say that Everlane is curvy friendly. I can tell I still have extra room in the hip area, which is very hard for me to ever find. It definitely skims my thighs here, but with a little bit of stretch that I have, I think I could be totally fine sizing down. So these are more of a wide leg. They're not even touching my calves or anything. This is actually the taller inseam. So I definitely don't think that Everlane is tall girl friendly. Both of the taller inseams were far too short for me. So maybe this is kind of a look, but I personally prefer my jeans to just be a little bit longer, definitely more of an ankle jean look. These ones though, much more comfortable, even just that 2% elastane. 
it's actually super helpful and just making it more comfortable to move around in these. I can feel the stretch in the knees. So overall, I like this style a lot better. I definitely think that Everlane is going to be very curvy friendly. But the fact that I still feel like I have room in the hips is amazing. Just definitely know that you might need to play around with sizing here. Pockets are still good. I don't know if these are the cheeky jeans still, but this pocket I still feel like is a more lifting design and it's not too low, not too big, not too small or anything. And overall jean quality feels good. And these definitely still feel like a nice denim, a little bit on the thicker side with maintaining that stretch. And these ones do have a zipper and a button instead of all buttons like the last one. The next brand we're trying is Fit Jeans. They're actually a Scandinavian denim brand. They're made in Oslo, Norway. And if you have been on Instagram in the fitness community for a while, you know that these Fit Jeans are very hyped up. You tend to see fitness influencers wearing these. They look very tight, but they're always flattering on the glutes and nice and snug on the waist, but they are quite pricey, even more so than the Everlane jeans. And there are definitely some things I don't love about fit jeans. So first of all, they only come in one length and I just feel like if you are making pants, you have to offer multiple lengths. Also the size chart, is pretty awful. So instead of being typical numbered jean sizing, it's actually an extra small, small, medium, etc. type size range. So most of the jeans come in double extra small to extra large, and they have a waist measurement on the size chart, but they don't even have a hip measurement on the size chart, which I just think is weird. Like, how are you gonna have a size chart with essentially one measurement? So basically you just buy your size based off your waist measurement. And I guess they just hope that there's enough stretch to compensate any hips or thighs. So I got a size small because that's where the size chart put me at. A size small waist is a 25.5 to a 27.5. It also looks like the inseam kind of varies by the size, which I don't like because just because you're a small doesn't mean you're shorter. And just because you're like a large, extra large doesn't mean you're taller. Like. I don't get it. Anyways, so I don't love that about them and I actually have tried fit jeans in the past, but we're trying them again because I feel like I am a better reviewer now. All right, we're gonna start out with the women's 360 V2 high-waisted fit jeans. So I got a size small and these were $145. That is pretty insane pricing. I think $100 is a lot for jeans. So to be nearly 150, they gotta be really good. So the 360 jeans are supposed to have 360 degree stretch. So it's a four-way stretch, both in width and length. They do have other options as well. Immediately taking these out, they do kind of smell a little bit. I feel like I remembered this from last time. So I hope the small fits because I feel like last time I actually had some gaping in the waist, but they have a lot of skinny jeans on the website. I did get a straight leg jean to try next, but I kind of hate skinny jeans. They just, um, I don't know, like they're just so restricting on your legs and I'm just not in my skinny jean era anymore. So these don't really have a definition of curvy because they're not advertising them as curvy. They're just all fit jeans are stretchy and meant to fit a more athletic build. And these are a cotton polyester elastane blend. So they're definitely a little more on the stretchy side and less, oh, that's actually a pretty good horizontal stretch. Okay, wow, that's actually quite a bit of stretch. So I'm hopeful for these. I feel like the 360 jeans have the best stretch. Again, they don't come in multiple lengths though. Okay, these are so stretchy, like, I know I've tried these years ago, but these are so much stretchier than I remembered. These truly did not feel like I was getting on jeans. Like I used to exclusively wear skinny jeans and I would wear jeans from like American Eagle and they would have like a little bit of stretch to them, but it wasn't much. These, I mean, they still feel like a jean in the way that like they might get like a teeny bit like itchy over time, like as compared to a legging, but this just feels like a way more comfortable skinny jean experience <laughs> than what I was doing. I really was not expecting to love the fit jeans today, but these are really doing things for me. So first of all, super high rise the waist is snatched like no gaping even if i tried the pockets are on the smaller side and definitely lifting so definitely flattering on the glutes so stretchy like i could literally like do anything in these jeans i could i could dance in them i could do i could work out in them oh my gosh these are so stretchy so off the charts for stretch they fit great they're definitely curvy friendly they have so much stretch for the thighs in the hips that I don't feel squished down even. The only thing is that they definitely feel the least like jeans, which may be a pro, maybe a con for people, but you're not getting that like thicker denim feel. You're definitely getting like a jegging type feel, even though they still have enough thickness where I wouldn't really be worried about like cellulite and things like that. So the inseam is actually only 28 inches, but because they have vertical stretch as well, I can actually basically make them 
a good length for me. So these ones are actually more tall girl friendly just because they have both horizontal and vertical stretch. And listen, I don't think I'm gonna go back into my skinny jeans era, you know, wearing skinny jeans all the time. I just don't personally love them for my body shape. I will also say not even too tight on the calves, which is impressive. But if I had to wear skinny jeans, these would be the ones. So um, very expensive, definitely an investment type jean. There's something to be said about that, but great sizing, curvy friendly, incredibly stretchy. Just noticed this after I filmed that, but these front things are fake pockets. So beware, these are the only ones that had fake pockets today. The back pockets are real though, but you just don't get any front pockets. And they definitely aren't as thick and heavy as an 100% cotton denim like the Everlanes. Okay, and because I didn't want to try only skinny jeans, these are the women's traditional V2 straight leg high-waisted fit jeans, size small, and these are $135. So the website was pretty picked over, so I didn't necessarily want this gray color, but this was the only color I could get in a size small in a straight leg jean. So these are not a 360 jean, so they actually only have a two-way stretch, so they are only stretchy horizontally. They don't have stretch vertically, so not as big of a deal when they're not like a super skinny jean. These ones are actually looking good so far. I feel like the waist looks tapered. It looks like a high rise. Definitely has stretch. This one feels a little bit more like a regular jean material to the touch than the 360 one did. And we do have a straight leg with a little slit at the side. I actually am a big fan of the little slit. I feel like it just pants sit better over shoes with that. But again, these only come in one length, so they might be kind of awkwardly short on me. But the only saving grace is that they are made in Norway and Norwegians are tall. So maybe these will be made tall. I don't know, let's try them on. Okay, so here they are. These ones definitely feel like a real denim, but they still actually have a lot of stretch them. So I would say medium to high stretch. Um, definitely high rise, goes right about to the belly button, smallest point of my waist. We have front pockets, kind of on the smaller side, lifting back pockets, so flattering. And just when I'm standing, the waist is totally fine. So I would say that these are generally curvy friendly. I do get a little bit of gaping. It's really, it's really not bad though. With jeans, I just prefer them to be a little snug on the waist because they usually stretch out a little bit with wear. But I would say generally these are definitely true to size. If you're on the smaller end of the size range though, I would probably size down because the small, which is what I have here, was a 25.5 to a 27.5. And I'm like a 26.5. And if I was any smaller, these would be gaping in the waist. So just keep that in mind. I really like how these feel though. So let's do the full length view. So the only bummer about the fit jeans is that they're just not really long enough. At a glance, these might seem to be an okay length, but they are definitely shorter than most of my jeans. So I would say generally not very tall girl friendly. If you are like 5'7 and below, probably be fine with these, but if you're really short too, they're going to be long. They don't offer short versions. So this one's a straight leg. Slightly skims the calves a little bit, but it's really not bad, so they're also thick calf friendly. And just Super, super comfortable, very stretchy. I haven't tried on the 360 skinny ones yet. I have a feeling I just prefer the fit of these. Just, I don't love to feel super constricted in a skinny jean. Even though these aren't labeled as curvy, I still would say that they're curvy friendly and they have a really good amount of stretch. So if stretch is your main thing with jeans, fit jeans might be the way to go, but they are very expensive, so. All right, next we have Hollister Curvy. And correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure Hollister has connections to Abercrombie and I love the Abercrombie Curve Love. And I wasn't even trying to buy these jeans on sale, but I got two different pairs of the Hollister Curvy jeans. One of them was on sale for $20, originally only 60, and the other one was on sale for $29 and was also originally 60. So these are by far the most affordable option today, very reasonably priced. Again, I wasn't even trying to get them on sale. They just happened to be on sale. It does come in kind of junior sizing because it is Hollister, not Abercrombie. And these ones are defined as curvy. So their curvy definition is that it's made for anyone who's ever had to compromise the way their denim shorts fit by wearing shorts that are the right size for the hip and thigh, but too big at the waist. Our curvy fit eliminates waist capping with a proportionally slimmer look good magic waistband and a roomier feel good fit through the hip and thigh. It says if you measure 12 to 14 inches larger around your hips than you do at your natural waist, AKA an hourglass figure, you're never going to want to wear anything else. So that sounds good, 12 to 14 inches, also definitely on the curvier side. Size range is pretty good. It's a triple zero to 21. Again, these are kind of junior sizing. They do have a short, regular, and a long length. So that's the most length range we've seen today. On the size chart, it lists a 12 inch difference 
difference between the waist and the hips. And then we do have some different fabrics. So I ended up getting a size three long in both of them. And that corresponds to a 26 inch waist as well as a 38 inch hip for curvy. So my hips can be a little bit larger. I haven't done the exact measurements yet. That will already be in the video. So I honestly don't know how to distinguish these jeans because they are both a light wash. They're both the same size and they're both the same price. So we'll just open one and hope it's the right one. So I got the Hollister Curvy High Rise Medium Wash 90s Straight Jeans, size three long, was $6, now 20. 98% cotton, 2% elastane. They are a light wash and they feel like kind of a slightly lighter weight denim than the Everlanes, but still definitely feel like regular jeans. They have a little slit at the side, which I've described that I like that. And not feeling a ton of stretch, maybe just like a little bit of give. And just kind of a classic fit jean. Let's try these on. Okay, so these are the first jeans. In terms of how they feel, even though they only have a 2% elastane, they feel stretchier than the Everlane ones. So I would say they have more of like a medium stretch. And this happened with the last curvy jeans review too. Every time I tried to match my waist size, to a size on the size chart, the waist ended up being too big, like literally every brand without fail. And I really don't think I'm measuring my waist incorrectly. Like I am definitely not under a 26. If anything, I'm more 26 to 26 and a half. And all of these 26 waists are just like way too big. So I'll pay too. We have a guest who's come to say hi. You don't often say hi in videos anymore, Pints, but we love you. We love Pinto. You're such a cutie. You're such a cutie. So anyways, I would like to see a more tapered waist from these. In terms of the hip fit, I still actually feel like I have maybe a tiny bit of room in them as well. So I do think sizing down would be possible. So I'm still gonna say these are curvy friendly, but I still would recommend that size down. So these are not quite as high rise as those super high Everlane ones, more of a just classic mid to high, not super, super high. The pockets are good, a little bit big, but they're still kind of a more lifted placement. We have classic pockets. I like the material. It's definitely a more lightweight jean feel for summer, but it still feels like solid denim. Like it doesn't feel cheap or anything. And they were only $20. All right, full length view, definitely more tall girl friendly. Um, I love the length of these. They go over the shoes a little bit. I don't love a slit that goes on the front of the pants. I thought it was more of a side slit, but still, you know, just, I don't know, a little bit different. So yeah, tall girl friendly. These are a straight leg fit. They actually are not even clinging onto the calves at all, which is nice, but they're more of a straight leg than a flare, no tapering going on, but they look slightly flared because of that little like tapering at the bottom and super comfy. Definitely at least a medium stretch on these. So just a more movement friendly jean. So overall thoughts, I definitely think these are still curvy friendly, but unfortunately I did not get the right size. Like these feel like actually quite large in the waist. So I don't know what the size chart is for if nothing ever fits when I follow the size chart. These are also a really affordable price point, so that's another bonus. Then we have the Hollister Curvy High Rise Light Wash Flare Jeans. So these ones are a slightly different material. They're a 77% cotton, 12% polyester, 9% viscose, and 2% elastane. Rarely do I see more than three different materials being mixed together. So yeah, these are the Hollister Curvy High Rise Flare. It says three long waist 26. So it's looking good. Definitely, ooh, nice, nice stretch to these. And they are a true flare. I have not worn like a true flare jean in a while, but they're trendy right now. So let's try them on. Okay, I immediately put these on way better than the last ones. The sizing is just much better. Um, actually feeling like, I mean, when I lean over, can I still get a couple fingers in the waist and have a little bit of space? Yes, but overall I would say nice and fitted on the waist. So these ones I would say much more true to size, definitely curvy friendly, even though these are more of like a slim flare jean, I still feel really comfortable in the thighs and the hips. In the last curvy jean video, we tried airy jeans and those also had a little bit more stretch maybe even junior sizing as well. I would say the Hollister jeans are way better than the Airy jeans. They still have good stretch to them, but they just feel like a better denim feel. Medium to high stretch on these, 
Like I feel like I can move around a lot, but they still are maintaining their shape well. Still definitely more on the lightweight side of denim, potentially a little higher rise than the last ones. I like where these hit me on the waist. Definitely still flattering pockets. They're a little bit above the bottom of the glute here. Feel like they're still lifting. And even though these felt slimmer to get on, like they definitely are more snug on the thighs, with that stretch and a little bit of extra space in the hips, I feel very comfortable with these. So let's look at the full length. So these are a true flare jean, which I've not tried in a while. I think they're actually really fun though. Um, the tall length is definitely good for me. They're going over the shoes a little bit, which I like, but they're not dragging on the ground. They're also just kind of lightly skimming the calves, but they're not like giving Clydesdale horse. So I'm okay with the amount that it's doing here. And like I said, just like super comfortable super stretchy. So these ones are definitely win. Kirby friendly, definitely more true to size. And I like how they feel with the stretch. And they were $30. So I didn't think Hollister would be doing so well, but here we are. And the last pair of jeans. These were a little bit of a gamble. So these are the Levi rib cage jeans. I've heard great things about these being friendly for curvier bodies, but they aren't necessarily defined as curvy, so I hope they work. In the description, it does say they have room in the hips and thighs, but there's no actual curvy definition because they are not called curvy. So these are the straight ankle jeans. I got the size 26 and they're $70, so it really wasn't too bad. It also says that they have stretch. They're a cotton polyester and 1% elastane, but yeah, they do have a little bit of stretch. Seems like a wider leg fit. Why does it say 30? Please don't tell me they like sent me the wrong size. 30 by 27. I don't know what that means. I thought I got a size 26. What does 30 by 27 mean? I ordered these on Amazon and I just don't feel like these are the right size. Waist 30, length 27. Oh my God, that is not what I ordered. That's not what I ordered. Let me just be sure. I hope these are still returnable because I was slow. These got delivered like a month ago. So yeah, I purchased size 26 and they sent me a size 30. Are you serious, Amazon? Okay, so I guess we're not reviewing the Levi ribcage jeans. Several days later. Okay, guys, good news. I reordered the Levi's and they are now a correct 26 inch waist. I don't know how that I literally checked my orders and it was like 26 and they literally said 30. So 26 by 27, I guess the inseam is 27. Usually women's jeans don't get the benefit of actually listing the length. That was like a crazy thing to me when I like first started shopping with Ian for stuff. He had the waist and the length listed on all of the jeans. They had like so many different length options, but apparently women all have to be the same height. Nice to have this, even though on Amazon, they did not let me choose the inseam length. So these are the ribcage straight ankle jeans seem like a high rise and they do have a little bit of stretch to them. So they're an 86% cotton, 13% polyester, 1% elastane. Let's try them on. All right, so far I've been able to get them on pretty easily. So that is a good sign. Um, unfortunately they are again, the button up style. I know some people prefer this, but it's just a lot of work. So seems good from the front, but I have quite a large gape situation in the back. I feel like I feel like at this angle, we're not really seeing it enough, but yeah, definitely quite a bit of gaping. So don't really feel like this really works for the whole curvy friendly situation. Cause based off how it feels in my hips and thighs, I'm not sure I could really size down. So they may be very slightly curvy friendly. Like do these fit me better than typical jeans I used to wear? Sure. but. Still not great. They do have a little bit of stretch to them. So they do have a little bit of stretch to them. I would say light to medium stretch. I love how high rise these are. They're super high rise. We have front pockets, back pockets. Let's take a look at the full length. And these are meant to be kind of more of a straight leg ankle jean. So um, I feel like this is like a thing right now. Like people really like this style, but I feel like they always just look like they're too short on me. But this is how the model was wearing them on the website too. Like. I feel like this was the goal. So definitely not my preferred length, but I'm sure these come in other lengths that just not on Amazon. So I really just wish the waist fit a little bit better on these because they would actually be pretty cute. And I like how they have like a nice denim feel, but I still have a little bit of stretch. Okay guys, that's it for the review. I think overall, all of the jeans had their pros and cons. If I didn't already have enough jeans in my wardrobe, I would honestly buy from any of these. I loved that the Hollister ones were affordable, but still felt like good quality. The fit jeans, if I needed a pair of skinny jeans, I would be going for those. They're so stretchy and so much more comfortable than most skinny jeans. And the Everlane definitely had to play with sizing a little bit, but I really loved 
the nice like thickness and quality of those. And those had a 15 inch difference between the hips and the waist. So that's truly the best option if you're someone who has just a giant discrepancy between your hips and your waist. So I think I've now tried most of the curvy style jeans, but if you do happen to have any others, leave them in the comments down below and I'll see if I have enough to make a third version of the video. As always, leave your video requests in the comments down below. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure to do so and give this video a thumbs up if you made it this far. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!